Running Windows on a Mac used to be tricky, slow, buggy, and always a compromise. But with Parallels Desktop 26, it finally feels perfect. It's the first virtualization software fully optimized for Mac OS 26 Tahoe and Windows 11 ARM, officially authorized by Microsoft and Apple. So you get rock solid stability and smooth performance. With Parallels 26, you can run over 200,000 Windows apps on your Mac, play Windows games like GTA 5 and Minecraft Bedrock, without a separate PC and use coherence mode blending Windows apps right into your Mac desktop. In this video, I'll show you how to download, install and configure Parallels 26 to run Windows on your Mac, whether it's for work or play. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now first, let me show you how to install Parallels Desktop 26 on your Mac. Now pause this video and go to this video description and click on the link in the video description. And now you will be redirected to affiliate special offer webpage. And here you will see two versions which you can purchase. One is called Parallels Desktop Standard and the second one is called Parallels Desktop Pro. Now I think that's the most value you get from this one, Parallels Desktop Pro. So here you can click on buy now. And here's a crazy hack. If you go here to this video description, you will also find this discount code. So here on this website, click on check to enter coupon code and paste inside this coupon code and click on apply. That way you will get 35% discount. Now, once you have it installed, you should see a screen which looks something like this. Pretty much with Parallels Desktop 26, you can install Windows 11 ARM. You can also download Mac OS and plenty of the versions of Linux like Kali Linux, Debian, Fedora. Now, if you want to install Windows 11 ARM, on your Mac OS, you will simply click here on get Windows 11 from Microsoft and click on continue. And then here you will click on install Windows. Now you will just wait for Parallels Desktop 26 to finish downloading and installing Windows 11 on your Mac. Now after verification process, you will see here a message installing Windows 11 and that this process usually takes five to 15 minutes to complete. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Now, once you have Windows installed, you will see here Windows license agreement. Just click here on accept. And now you can see here a message, Windows 11 installed successfully. Now here on the Windows 11 desktop, make sure that you click here on this green colored circle to full screen Windows 11. And now we can also configure the display. So Pretty much we can right click here and then go here to display settings. Now here down below, make sure that you put here this scale to recommend it. In my case, this is 100% and for the display resolution, make sure that you also put this one to the recommended option. So in my case, this is 1920 by 1080. Click on this and that is pretty much it. Now make also sure that you install Parallels tools on your virtual machine to improve the stability and the performance. And it's also very easy to do so. Make sure that you go here on the top bar and then here click on actions. And then here down below, you'll find this option, reinstall Parallels tools. Just click on this. And then here you can see here, you're going to reinstall Parallels tools. Do you want to continue? I'm going to click on yes here. And you can see here that it started to reinstall Parallels tools. This will give our virtual machine the most stability and also the best performance. And it's also installing some of the drivers for display, audio and stuff like that. And now you'll have to restart your Windows 11 installation. Just click here on restart. Now here in the settings, you will also see a message to activate Windows Now. Now you can either buy product key, enter product key. However, you guys can also use Windows 11 completely for free without entering the product key. And it also works just fine. Now you can also configure the RAM and also CPU for your specific virtual machine. First, make sure that you shut down your virtual machine to off. Here you will see your virtual machine. Just click here on this gear icon and then here we have a few settings. You can see how much of your hard disk is using on your Mac. So in my case, this is 15.4 gigabytes sharing. Pretty much you can also share the files from Macs and then are also visible inside the virtual machine as well. So you can pretty much also see the files or use the files inside the Windows 11 virtual machine. Here we also have here share Windows applications with Mac. I will also show you this just in a bit. And then here, if we go to the hardware, 
we can change here the options. For example, parallels actually allocated for this virtual machine, four CPUs and also six gigabytes of RAM and three of gigabytes for graphics. However, you can click here on manual and change here the processors. You can go up to eight on my computer and then also the memory. You can also change that. And then here you can go to the advanced and here you will find this option called adaptive hypervisor. I recommend that you leave this option as it is. Now, if you think that you need more power, of course, you will change here the processors and also the memory. Now for the graphics, you can see here that you have three options best for retina display, scaled and also best for external displays. I recommend that you have this last option enabled. And now let me show you how to enable coherence mode on Parallels desktop. Pretty much here on the top left menu or on this buttons menu, you will see here the fourth button, which is colored in light blue color. If you click on it, this will switch Windows 11 to the coherence mode. And now once you've pretty much done that, you can see here that it opens the start menu on Mac OS. You can see here that we have still here Mac OS menu bar on top. And now we can pretty much open whatever app you like here. For example, we can open File Explorer. And here we can see we are still on the Mac, but we can search, for example, here the File Explorer on Windows. And we can also resize its window here on the Mac OS. And it works super nicely. For example, we can even open here the Edge browser. And here we can see that we can also use here the Edge browser inside the Mac OS. So this is running in coherence mode. I think it works super nicely. As you can see, we can pretty much use this Edge browser from Windows 11 virtual machine on our Mac OS Tahoe or Sequoia. So this is basically the Parallels Coherence Mode. Now, if you open here Control Center on the Parallels 26, you can right click on your VM and here you'll find an option manage snapshots. Pretty much you can here take a snapshot of your current state of your virtual machine. And then if you do something and it doesn't work, you can then successfully go back to the previous snapshot where everything worked. Pretty much just click here on new and this should create a brand new snapshot of your virtual machine. Now, I highly recommend using Parallels desktop, I think it's totally worth it if you have Mac OS and if you want to try Windows 11 on your Mac. Now, make sure that you go to this video description, click on the link and also use the code for the additional discount. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you smash up the like button on this one. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that said, I will see you all around in the next video.